Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful exponential math problem which is 500 raised to power 500 divided by 250 raised to power 250. So here I will try to solve this problem using two different methods, two different approaches. So here we will use our first approach, first method. So therefore here in the first method, we will factorize this one number 500. So therefore we can write this number as this 500 can be written as 2 times 250 raised to the power 500 divided by this number will be the same 250 raised to the power 250. Now here in the numerator we will use an exponential identity. So here in the numerator we will use this one exponential identity a times b or raised to power n which can also be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n. So using this identity here, we will split this power over 2 and 250. So this numerator will become, this will become 2 raised to power 500 times 250 raised to power 500 divided by, this number will be the same, 250 raised to the power 250. Next we can write this number as here we will split this number from the division of these two numbers. So this will become 2 raised to power 500 times 250 raised to the power 500 divided by 250 raised to the power 250. We might distribute to these two numbers here. These two numbers have the same base. So here we will use the same base exponential identity. So here in this step we will use this one exponential identity. Rs to power n divided by Rs to power n. Which can also be written as Rs to power m minus n. So using this identity here we will write this number one time and we will subtract the powers. So this will become. 2 raised to power 500, but we can write this 500 as 2 times 250 times, and this will become 250 raised to the power. We will subtract the powers, so this will become 500 minus 250. So let's simplify these numbers. So this will become now here we will use another exponential identity. So here in this step we will use this an exponential identity rs to power m times n which can also be written as rs to power m all raised to power n. So using this identity here we can write this number as 2 raised to power 2 all raised to power 250 times 250 raised to power this gives him 250. Now what is 2 raised to power 2? 2 raised to power 2 is simply 2 times 2 is 4. So this will become 4 raised to the power 250 times 250 raised to the power 250. You might just look at two, these two numbers. These two numbers have the same power. So here we will use the same power exponential identity and we multiply the bases with each other. So here in this step we will use this one identity which has the same power. So we will take out the power common and we multiply the basis. So using that identity, this will become this will become 4 times 250 raised to the power 250. Now 4 times 250 is simply 1000. So this will become 1000 raised to the power 250. And we will change this 1000 to its exponential form. So therefore we can write this 1000 as 10 cube. All raised to the power 250. Now here we will use this one exponential identity. And we will change the data number from this form to this form. And we multiply the powers. So here we multiply the powers with each other. So this will become 10 raised to the power. This will become 3 times 250. So this is very easy. This will become 10 raised to power. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 1 is carried. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this gives him 10 raised to power 750. 
So finally, 10 raised to power 750 is our answer. And value of this interesting exponential math problem. Now here we will try to solve this problem using the second method. So in second method here we will factorize this one power 500. So therefore, next we can write this number as 500 raised to power. We can write this 500 as 250 times 2, which is 500. Now this number will be the same. 250 raised to the power 250. Now here in this one number we will use an exponential identity. So here in this number we will use this one exponential identity and we will change the power from this one form to this one form. So this numerator will become this will become 500 raised to the power 250 whole square divided by this number will be the same 250 raised to power 250 now since here there is square over this number so therefore we can write this number as we can write this number two times 500 raised to power 250 times 500 raised to power 250 divided by this number so this will become 250 50 raised to the power 250. Now, my look at two these two numbers. These two numbers have the same power 250. So, here we will use the same power exponential identity. So, here in this step, we will use this one exponential identity r raised to power m divided by b raised to power m, which can also be written as a by b all raised to power m so using this identity here this number will become this first number will be the same so this will become 500 raised to the power 250 times and this will become here we will divide the basis so this will become 500 divided by 250 raised to the power the power is 250 so this will become 250. And let's simplify these numbers. So here 0 will be cancelled with 0. And 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So this will become 2 by 1, which is simply 2. So this will become 500 raised to the power 250 times. So this will become 2 raised to the power 250. Now I might distribute to these two numbers. These two numbers have the same power. So here in this step we will use the same power exponential identity. So here we will use this one exponential identity having the same power. So we multiply the basis and we will take out the power common. So this will become, we will multiply the basis. So the basis are 500 times 2 and the power is 250. Now 500 times 2 is simply 1000. This is 1000 raised to the power. 250. Now again, we will change this number to its exponential form. So therefore, we can write this 1000 as 10 cube or the power 250. Now here we will use an exponential identity and we multiply the powers with each other. So this will become 10 to the power 3 times 250. 3 times 250 is simply 750. So this will become 10 to the power. 750. So finally, 10 to the power 750 is our answer using the second method.